What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and it's the playoffs in our Washington football team franchise. Of course, we're going against the Detroit Lions. I don't want to say, oh well, will it really matter because, you know, they're 8-8. Eight and eight. They had to win to get here. We're about to find out who they had to beat to get here. Of course, we are not live, so full focus ahead as once again, this is likely, unfortunately, the last season of Washington football team franchise. They had to beat the Saints. I don't know what the Saints roster still looks like, but... For some reason, it's Nick Mullins. I've seen that a few times. I mean, what do you mean a few? <laughs> it's just the only league there. <laughs> Speaking of NFC North, the not the Lions, but the Bears all over it. I don't know if they won, and maybe that's who we would have to face if, if we win. Of course, no upgrade points. We did that last week, technically. And, well, not really last week, but last episode. This is what the roster looks like. Of course, super talent across the board. Obviously, the starters will be in and in full force today for the game. Obviously, a super, super great squad. And really, I mean, there's not a whole lot more you could ask for. You have the different levels of talent. You got Sims, who's kind of the in-between uh, card of the pure speed. And then Ross, just the absolutely steal the ball away from you. Calvin Johnson legend type as far as defense uh, you know our pass rush hasn't been as great as it probably should considering how good it is but the corners well maybe not the corners but hood playing really well uh fuller lacking a little bit neil absolutely crushing it the linebackers interiorly i mean really the defense is maybe we need a new defensive coordinator because honestly this team plays has way too much talent to play the way they do on defense it's really bad Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. They said there was a chance of snow, but it was only 25%. And here we are. He's already pissed. He's like, damn it. Of course, why is it going to be snowing? This Detroit has a chance now, even though they probably shouldn't be as ready for the weather as we are. But, if, I mean, I, I say that, but other than cold, we really haven't experienced much snow as a team, specifically this team, but even just as a franchise lately. Uh, so... This could be interesting. I mean, we're excited to play in the snow. The players are obviously stoked. But, man, does this honestly give the Lions a bit more of a chance? It really does. Maybe we'll be at halftime up 31-0 to and we won't feel bad about it. But, you know, I don't know, dude. The snow, it's scary. You just do not know the way it can go. I mean, it's just we should have the cleats proper. They probably, you know, they, they've tested it out. They're probably fine, too. But... We should have the advantage here. It really should be uh, our advantage. Of course, on the other side, we mentioned it. Chicago playing good football. And then Dallas. You always expect to see them somewhere near, you know, the playoffs. Usually, this is kind of their their end all. This is, you know, <laughs> they're done usually around here. So, the winner of this game could be uh, against the Chicago Bears. Could be an NFC North, you know, conference matchup. As we are going to kick the ball first. So, we'll get a, a first-hand experience of how hard it may be. To play offense, uh, but at least on the defensive side, right? So we get a get a chance to let our uh, our offense see what's going on as they're going to try to return this. And Green making a really nice play, stopping them down to the 19-yard line. Taking a look at their quarterback, still Matthew Stafford in this universe. 30 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 4,091 yards. Pretty, pretty, uh, you know, good stuff. We ain't playing around today. We are a very good blitz team. Even though it looks like it's going to be a pass, we don't care. It's not going to be a pass as Fuller has to make potentially a touchdown saving tackle. And he does a gain of three on what could have been disastrous from the first freaking snap. Come on, guys. you got to filtrate better than that. Looks like they're going to run it again. We take the wrong angle, but Chase, it's not Chase Young. It's actually uh, Montez Sweat making the play. They only gained one yard on what looked like, a, once again, a really nice look. Last second uh, corrections. Uh-oh, it's a screen, and we jump way too early as that ball is going to just pretty much be thrown away. Threw it at his feet. Gave him maybe a chance. Unlikely any of our guys come up with the play. So, yeah, a little bit of questionable play calling. Run, run, screen. I mean, a screen, you're going to be looking at the running back, aren't you? So... <laughs> I don't know. It seems a little questionable as Cordero Patterson gets it for a gain or maybe a gain of seven to the 40-yard line exactly. And here it is. The most valuable player in the entire league, Titus Campbell with 5,000 yards right on the dot. 
This man is ready to go. Of course, ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. Uh, we are going to be running anyways. Uh, as we cut it back left, and Hubbard is going to gain about 12 yards. I was going to say 11, but I kind of cheated. Well, if you guys are excited as I am for this game, leave a dang like, okay? And maybe a, a darn subscribe. And maybe a, maybe a, a, a damn follow on Twitter. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I give up. Uh, to the outside, Sims on the wide receiver sweep. Is going to get a huge chunk of yards down to the 21. We really didn't run too many of those plays this year. So obviously holding out a little bit for the postseason. And not a bad start here for the offense. Going to run the ball again. And yeah, not a great gainer there. We had our blocks pretty well except Deshaun Hand. Got his hand in there. I don't I, Okay. I want Hubbard near the line of scrimmage if I can get him there. Well, I mean, obviously, but if, can I get him? Okay, I guess that's, that's the best we're going to get. And you take that every day of the week as he absolutely crushes Justin Coleman for the first point of the game. You already knew Justin Ross was going to be a big part of this game. And on the very first drive, he scores a touchdown, absolutely crushing him. Why would you put him on Justin Ross? That matchup just does not make sense. There's at least, what, a six to eight inch difference in height? And wow, that was a very long drive. Crazy, dude, we started at the 40. <laughs> so stupid. Come on, Gustin. All right, nice start to the game, seven to nothing. And Dallas is the winner. That's not an easy team to beat. Props to Chicago and Detroit getting here, but man, Dallas is too much. Get in there, Hood. That's all right. A first down gained finally for Detroit. Didn't really think about it, but it was the NFC East versus the NFC North. And the Cowboys did their part. Can we do ours? And they're going to get a decent gainer by Carrion Johnson. Luke Green helps take him down. Gain of five. Definitely sets a bunch of different looks up on, oh, God, on offense for them. This is not good. We need some pressure. Come on, Allen. Come on, Chase. There you go, Allen. Hit as he's thrown, and he still gets a really good tackle off the edge by Darby. This is going to be a third and two look now. This is just going to be, I wouldn't say an all out, but we're going to be committing to the, the, the pass a little bit here. And was that a throwaway? I mean, I get there was some potential pressure, but he's got to stick it out like he did the last play and just take a hit. Force it in there. You got the freaking strength. Cordero. What a recovery. Obviously doing that on purpose to trick them, and what a tackle last second. Down to the 14. Cordero, what are you doing? Or you just completely get the hell out of there, which he really didn't. He kind of just barely moved. Really good blocks. The fullback selling hard as Hubbard tries to still break past him. 15-yard gain, but that should have been so much more. Come on. Let's show them how good of a team we are. We are really good. We should smoke them. We're going to take the clean look as it's a little underthrown, but it gets there. Nine-yard gain for Kelly. We did just throw the ball, but I still think this is where you take another shot. Got a couple of looks deep. Let's see if we can see anything open. I'm going to throw it away. Damn, I don't understand what happened there. Ross got, I mean, absolutely destroyed on his route. All right, run look. Maybe we shouldn't have looked for the, the deep shot. Just should have taken the freaking yards we had. Potentially, and that will be nicely a first down. Glinchy getting in there, fighting hard to make sure we get that good play. Our outlook to Ross doesn't look primed, but depends on what their look is. And holy crap, some of these routes by Ross. I mean, absolutely crushed the guy for a touchdown, but man, I don't know how much you can trust him in this game. His footing doesn't look great. If it's a clear-cut shot to the end zone, fair enough, but timing plays, I don't know. It's a little dangerous. Really worried about, you know, a wrong step, and they're running the other way with the thing. Looking for the drag, potentially. That's exactly where we go. A little bit out there, but a great run by Carter. Who's going to take it to the 20. Good enough throw to get it there. Carter, really good first step. Takes it to the 20-yard line, and we could end ourselves uh, at the first quarter mark with 14 points, potentially. Hubbard to the outside. And Campbell's going to try to get out of there. Does not. It's going to be like a 
quarter of a foot sack there. I wouldn't say a touchdown saving play, but you know, pretty damn close. Gonna run up the middle and Hubbard is gonna gain about six and a half, making a very manageable third down, really. I'm surprised it's a gain of five. I thought it would have been a gain of, well, maybe it was, but we were backed up. Could be a play to Ross in the corner. This is gonna be a sell. Oh my lord, I didn't mean it like that. I just mean like the drive was going to be sold out because we stepped back way too far. I thought we were going to get a, th a quicker throw there, so try to give myself as much time, and instead we actually hurt ourselves. Really good kick considering the weather. You know, this is going to be one of those windy ones. Step up, give yourself a better look to avoid that interception. And once again, off the edge, Chase this time getting there and... Stafford just throws it away, and he has the check down. I don't know why he isn't just taking it. I don't know what he's, like, seen or, I suppose, not seen. As we take a bad step, and that's a potential pick. And, unfortunately, Fuller gets his hands on it, but gets absolutely blown through by uh, the receiver and his teammate. And of course, drops it. You can't blame him on that one. That was a brutal one to take. But here, this defense locking up tough. As Chase Young's going to force his way through, and it's going to be yet another throwaway. Detroit has no looks it's gonna be another punt oh my stafford is having a terrible start to this game and the way we're moving down the field i mean this game could be out of reach soon enough as cordero is gonna get a decent return one man to beat oh it's not one man to beat because the the linebacker comes in and cordero takes it down to the 29 yard line there is nothing working for detroit so far we had Julian Kelly, but we're going to try to get the block from the fullback who just does not see it. And look at Campbell reaching for the first down and gets it. What a hero. End of the first quarter. It has been all Washington all day long. And it's only the start of the day. Of course, not a great run look, but I feel like they're scattered around too much to make a play on this. And I wasn't wrong. And there goes Hubbard. Keeping those legs moving, gains about seven. Could be a Ross touchdown unless we get an inside look to Carter. I think you cancel the play action. I don't care if they think it's a run or not. You cancel that. And that's a throwaway. You maybe have Sims there on the left side, but that player right off the left edge was about to get us. Don't want a ball thrown directly into the sky and picked off. And that's going to be a low throw, and Carter holds on. He's just too small. You just can't see him coming. Just like me when I'm creeping around in the women. Nah, nothing. How the read option look? We're going to audible this to a straight up run because they have the edges covered. And Hubbard is literally just going to walk into the game. Into the game. Into the touchdown zone. The red zone is, is pretty much all ours at this point. They have no defense. Their offense looks even worse. And it's a 17 to nothing game. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, something to something. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, 17-0 to game. And once again, another long drive, apparently. I know we really shouldn't be blitzing because at this point, you just try to hold on to the lead. But, man, the pressure has killed Stafford. I think you just keep doing it. And, oh, my Lord. there. I mean, some of the other plays, debate on whose fault it is. That one, if you blame that on Stafford, I don't know what else to tell you because, I mean, he never had a shot. He literally never had a shot. And Sweat on the inside with Chase Young off the edge again. They have no chance. Of course, Titus on the sideline showing the guns because he knows that they're in a really good spot already. Maybe a little too uh, preemptive, but man, can you really blame him with the game they're having? Uh-oh. And look at Cordero. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's a player on this team that isn't feeling it right now. Of course, with that being said, slow the ball down a little bit. Slow it down. Which, in, uh, you know, ironically, speeds up the clock. As Hubbard is going to crush it down to the 40. Oh, my. They have no answer. Now we're getting a little little fancy on them. 3v3, win your matchups. And they do. No shot to stop. And Hubbard's just having a, a freebie. A freebie day. Not really even having to work that hard. Even though he is. He's working hard. He just doesn't have to. <laughs> so, you know. Inside to Ross could be our look. And Ross is going to aggressively take that. He doesn't you know, doesn't want to just catch it. He wants to take it. It's like your mama. Well, Carter could be our look, but I'd rather clear it up for Kelly, who could score. 
Ah, we could have taken that, but we're going to take the safe one. Apparently not. It's overthrown. Oh, my Lord. Carter's going to try to make the tackle, but he is smaller and still makes it. Campbell nowhere to be found. Where the hell is Campbell on trying to make the tackle? Overthrows a wide open Carter. And now Detroit has newfound life. And Chase Young in the zone can't get him. Oh, my Lord, though. Neil absolutely popping, hocking. It wasn't as cool sound as I, I thought it was going to be in my head. Okay. Allen trying to spin. Can't. Chase Young gets beat, but not as bad as uh, Hood. Uh-oh. I mean, the game's very early. Maybe we're feeling ourselves a little bit too much, but tight, tight is obviously sold really hard there. Underneath, Luke Green all over. This could be a throwaway. Chase gets put down, and Stafford will throw it away last second. All the time in the world, but the coverage stepping up on that one. Second and ten, not a bad look to run, so we're going to bring everyone a little closer to the line of scrimmage, at least the interior of it. And slant look is potentially there. Chase Young hit as he's thrown. The ball is caught, and Fuller's looking the other way as Garyon Johnson reaches for the goal line and barely misses it. What a freaking effort. Of course, from the one, no guarantees in this league. And falling down, we thought it was going to be a run. Why wouldn't you on first down? The Lions beat us, and... That will be the first score of the game, opening up completely now. And now they're they're trying to get us to throw the ball. They're, they're daring the MVP of the league to throw it. And could you blame him? He's played well, but that was such a questionable throw uh, with how bad it was that, I mean, it's probably the right call, isn't it? Our ground game has been crushing it. Our pass game is doing all right, but some throws have been a little overthrown. You do what you're, you know, you do what they're doing, honestly. And there we gain five. I mean, like like we see right there. You do dare us to throw. I would stack up like they are right now. I mean, this is a pretty good game plan. But what can we do? We got the run. And there you go. Hubbard to the outside. Missed the block. No, Carter. The small man Carter actually made such a play there, but choked on the final one. And at half, Hubbard is going to be sitting at what would appear to be 100 yards Absolutely insane. Ooh, that's a really good pickup. Campbell running for his life. There's no one in sight. He could score. One to beat. And he can't truck him over. Down to the four. What a run. Electric. Great pick up the middle by Hubbard. Picked up the blitz and obviously rolling out hard. I don't know why Campbell's holding the ball like that. Absolutely scares me with that. Now with the two-minute warning from the four, this offense... Just avoid the mistakes. You win the game. Clear cut, you know. That's really the only thing that you have to worry about is avoiding mistakes. On the run again. No clean, clean looks. You know, you're up 10. You don't throw the ball into a fourth spot unless you absolutely have to, which, once again, you're up 10. So it's just that doesn't really exist, does it? Going to give the ball to Gibson, who hasn't touched the ball this game. And tries to cut it right. Can't get there. Down to the two. Clock's draining a little bit here. I mean, the interior looks open enough. We're going to run it with Hubbard. Who's going to walk in again. Oh, my. Offensive line has been winning. Giving up a drive like that, I just don't think you win if you're Detroit. We've been running putting some pretty base defenses, and we're just outmatching them. Over the middle is wide open. He's going to the outside. Hood keeps just giving up too much room on that side, man. At what point, if you're Hood, do you stop giving him so much cushion, you know? Your assignment is give up maybe 8 yards. He's given up about, like, 14. And once again, you have to check down, Stafford. It's second and inches. You gain 7 there. I don't know what he's doing. They need to move on from him. He is not the answer. This is bad. How the hell did they even make the play? I mean, in fairness, they're 8-8. Eight and eight. They probably don't even deserve to be here. Saints are just in a worse spot. There's the check down. Wide open. Fulton trying to help as... Galladay's a pretty big fella. All right, Chase. Chase gets a little bit of a push. Can't get off, and he does. Last second, it's picked off by Hood. And it could not get the block there as Chase Young has been lethal today. Now, this is where you get a little more aggressive. Even though you don't need to, you try to get that score because, that I mean, that puts the game away probably. Probably did have uh, the B route, but take what we can get as we're running into the uh, the line just to avoid the uh, the pressure off the edge. Got some angles. Kelly could be the look. Maybe a little face catch in front of the tight uh, the safety. 
And where hitters were thrown. What a throw as Kelly comes back to it to the 15. Oh, my. That's what I was talking about. Trying to play it safe because stuff like that can happen. Of course, it works out here because, you know, we were looking for the deep shot anyways. Might have had the running back underneath, but it works out. As Carter's over the middle for a score. He gets it. 30 to 7. Unstoppable. And of course, the first half is over as Detroit is stunned. I know you normally say stunned for the team that's supposed to win, but whether you're supposed to win or not, if you're down 31 to 7 and a half in the playoffs, something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. As once again, we know on the other side, there is uh, Dallas is going to be the team waiting to see who wins this game. Of course, if Detroit somehow makes the miraculous comeback, Dallas hosts the game. Of course, if we hold on, we play division rival Dallas at home in a potential another snow game. Of course, we start with ball. So once again, this is going to be a huge rushing half, specifically drive. Obviously, we don't know how the half's going to go. We could fumble and they pick it up for a touchdown and you know things just go bad, but... Obviously, you got to really love our chances in this one. You'd be crazy to put a bet on now for Detroit to come back. I don't care what the odds are because the odds are going to be bad. But good for you if you win, obviously. Gain a four on the first run, and they are stacking the wrong side. What are they doing? As we're going to get free rush to the outside. Really good play by uh, Coleman, but... I mean, that's about as easy as it's going to get. I mean, we're a pretty decent blocking game, uh, team, especially in the ground game. But when you give us that look, I mean, it doesn't really take a much, really. Oh, really good job by Hand, who's probably their best effort defender so far. Second and seven. I don't like that we're a little behind the sticks, kind of. So we're going to go for the play action look. Maybe go to the fullback right away. As Kelly's going to be wide open here. Play it safe. Perfect throw. Right on the money to the 37 from the 37. They're bringing more players here. This is probably a pretty bad look, actually. And that's going to be a fumble. What in the world that just happened? What was that decision? That was terrible by us. That, I mean, they just, they locked it up. Should have threw the ball away, and we, we tried to. It was too late. Fumble for the touchdown. That That is just terrible. Terrible decision. Just keep running the ball. Uh, we try to get too fancy. Try to get too cute. And that time it hurt us. All the other times it worked, but that time it obviously hurt us. And back of the end zone, Galladay with red zone threat will catch it. Putting them within range, 16 points. Stacking again for the run. As Hubbard's still going to find a lane and fights for a gain of what should be first down uh, yardage. Hubbard to the left side as, oh my lord, who is that? Is that Jamie Collins who just had a pick six on us? Yes, we gave a pick six to old Jamie Collins. Here you got to look for the throw. Don't like the play action look from... Kelly, this is a bad play. And missed throw. Obviously, he had to set his feet quick to try and get that off. But, man, we're starting to choke a little bit here. This could just be a chuck up to uh, Justin Ross if I don't like it. I don't like it. Going to take it to Ross. And he holds on. Oh, my. You can't stop him. Been a little silent. Because we didn't really need him for a while. And, you know, when we dial it up and we ask for it all, he comes up every time. I get that we have the underneath to Hubbard on the wheel, which is a great adjustment by us to put that in. But you got, you can't let Justin Ross on third and long go one-on-one. -on -one. You just can't. You just cannot do that. As Hubbard could score. Tries the spin. Fights his way, facing the wrong way to the five. We're running the ball hard here. These are the types of games that matter most. Pitch to the left side. Hubbard going to get the block, and that is perfect. But Hubbard's a little slow, tries to score, and just ran on a juice. Hubbard's going to be in, but they know he's tired, so this might be a little too obvious of a fullback dive, but who cares? James Beal in, and not us. That's who doesn't care, as Beal's going to get about the easiest and freest touchdown probably of the entire late. Okay, I mean, Hubbard's legs are tired, but, you know, jump on his back, big boy. You know, there's a little bit of fun drama for Detroit, you know, a little bit of something for the fans but ultimately do they really ever believe they had a chance because obviously they shouldn't have as chase young gets slipped upon doesn't really matter but of course ross and the offense is getting hyped because they know they're likely on to the semi-finals second and six off the edge chase young and oh absolutely popped 
I feel like Fulton gave a little bit more of a shoulder than uh, than Foster did on that one. And there's a lot going on here. One-on-one -on -one look. What are they doing there? That is just never going to be a play that works. Ruben Foster is too stout for that. Absolutely god-tier defense. Of course, Detroit's trying, but might be a little too late as Ruben Foster is once again going to bring him down. Gain of three that time, but obviously clutching up. Let me come with the press blitz because this is, this is your time as a pass rusher to make it work. Make it count. And Chase Young picked off by Fulton. Fulton's going to try to take this back. He can't, but of course, Stafford has just been all over the place. What is he doing? All right, going with the sweet play. There goes Sims again, just like earlier in the game. He gained 27 going out of bounds. Of course, the clock will continue, so might as well avoid the hit, especially with a wide receiver. We'll run it into their front anyways. We got Hubbard. Oh, my. Look at that line. That, the, that line crushed him. Lost one on one. We have the the right side look, and uh, that's gonna be yeah, unfortunate. Screen look. Hit is worth thrown. Hubbard's gonna beat them both for the first down. Oh my. Oh my. I mean, you don't really even think about Hubbard as like the first name on this team, but boy is he good. Read option. This should just be a straight up handoff, honestly. And they did a really good job block shedding, but we obviously have the looks. Ross on the double. Never mind. We're going to throw a quick to Kelly. One to beat. Kelly into the end zone. Takes on the entire team. Probably didn't even need to score, but if there was never a dagger in before, holy crap, the whole kitchen knife set is into him. One to beat turns into multiple to beat, and he does it anyways. And the extra point is missed. And the main reason why is because I feel like I feel like the kicker didn't... Uh, this is why. He used the power of wind to try and kick this. That is a bad idea. Oh, Chase Young making plays. Chase Young fighting. Realistically, we should be uh, benching the rest of our players. Obviously, the offensive players will be maybe defensive as well as Fulton, who's been grinding today, making plays. Takes him down after a first down look. You can't really blame anyone for getting beat now. I mean, we've, we've built this big of a lead because of the aggression. Even if they're a little tired now, that's fine. As Chase Young doesn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what do you mean a little tired? Chase like, it's the fourth? I thought it was the, that is the start of the second. Just crushing it, man. Chase is just crushing it. Sweat hasn't done as well, even though he should. As Chase is going to force the ball out almost instantly. I mean, I feel like Sweat wasn't even off the freaking line by the time that Chase already was in there. Oh, my. Of course, Decker is a little bit better of a, a tackle than the other guy, but still. And missed by Fuller. Huge hit by Fulton slash Neal. One of the two. I think it was Fulton. Chase Young kind of gets caught. He's still making a play, and it's going to be another throwaway. This man left, right, down center. Power move, spin move, swim move. Doesn't matter. He's going to get there. Actually unstoppable today. Gotta love it. He probably should have kept following him, and we just missed desperately. We were going to take our guys out, but uh, after that choke job, the game's still technically in reach. It's still technically in reach. It doesn't take much. It really doesn't, especially if you count for things you just don't account for, which is fumbles, which we obviously had one for a touchdown this game. Was it for a touchdown? Actually, I can't remember. As Campbell needs a stiff arm here, can't beat it. Of course, good job holding on to the ball. But, man, if he would have beat Harmon on the stiff there, we're talking about a pretty decent play. If it's that far down, you might as well take the shot if there's no one open, of course. And really, I mean, probably should have threw it to someone because obviously, you know, the clock runs. But obviously, this is going to be very good field, uh, field position for them. They will have to convert a two-point conversion at some point if they want a chance. Obviously, are we even going to see them get to that point, though? That's that's the thing. Defense has played pretty well. Got a couple of hiccups, but overall, pretty good stuff. As uh, They're going to find Hawkinson for a gain of about 15. Chase Young, get off that block. And he gets the tackle. What a play. What a play. Four yards gain. Your defensive ranking is going to look pretty bad when you, you know score so many points. Those are the greatest freaking defense ever. It's another screen. Did not see that coming at all. 
Not a bad play decision as Neil crushes him for only a gain of two. They had a convoy. That Detroit Lions offensive line is terrible. We're going to bring five here. He's selling out a little bit. Everyone press up. As Chase has a look. Doesn't get it. Darby going to make a safe tackle. Even though it's almost a dangerous one with a face mask potentially. Is that a pass rush by Foster? I, I felt like, I, I, what? As Swift is down to the four, maybe they don't have to be as urgent as we said, you know? It comes down to an onside kick. If they could just get one onside kick, that opens the entire game up. But obviously, they do need to score this touchdown, which they're going to run. I mean, okay, I mean, okay. Hurry up, Darby, hurry up, adjust. 2-2-4 two, two, in the fourth. And they're going to get the score. He kind of flips that ball a little weirdly, but I believe he was over the line. I mean, it's pretty obvious he was over the line. And they're opting to go for that two-point conversion now, which, I don't know, maybe a psychological thing you late, but because it doesn't matter as much. They can just go for two more to recover if they miss. All the time in the world, no one to go to. And Stafford's looking for something. Thrown across the field. That ball is not only well behind the line of scrimmage, but he's also touched out of bounds first. What in the world was that? Clearly an onside kick look as Carter is the one to recover it. I mean, I trust these receivers' hands, but Carter, of all the people, there you go, Sims. And Sims going to want to run back a little bit, played a little safe, and now comes just uh, don't fumble mode. I'm going to give it to Detroit for making it interesting, but realistically, you know, our effort levels have dropped quite a bit since, you know, we had that huge lead. Going to go back to the sweep. This time it's going to be Ross, a little bit more tanky, can take a hit if he has to, won't fumble most likely. So love Sims. He's played really well on these, but we're just going to take Ross violent into them obviously you you kind of want to know where the tackle is coming from rather than running as far as possible left and maybe even giving up the ball early thinking you're out of bounds and someone just rips it from you but obviously with that first down it's going to be very hard for Detroit to have much of a shot and Hubbard wants it all and he's gonna not get it all down to the one oh my lord and maybe we're being a little douchey here we're gonna go with the wildcat we're going to go to the Wildcat, and Gibson's going to walk in. Uh, I don't know. I feel like fans would maybe boo on that one, but obviously now, no questions asked. It's over. And that will be the result of the divisional matchup against the Detroit Lions and the Washington football team. Of course, divisional playoff matchup, because obviously these teams aren't in the same division. But speaking of same division, perfect segue to next week's game, the championship game up against the Dallas Cowboys we did a lot of things right but we did do a few things wrong I cannot deny the fact that we did have a couple of errors in that game of course rushing was not one of them oh my lord we had more rushing yards than they did total offense holy crap that was insane uh, but there were a couple of plays we definitely would like to have back a couple of decisions we would like to have back and Overall defense did have a couple of plays we probably shouldn't have given up. Uh, Hubbard ends up getting a passing touchdown in this one. Campbell, really, really solid numbers. Uh, rushing Hubbard, I mean, obviously the player of the week. Three touchdowns total, maybe even a fourth if he had a receiving one. Uh, over 200 yards, probably with the receiving numbers. Absolutely crush it. There's just nothing else to say about it. A lot of people got involved in this one. This was a, a complete team win. Of course, some did more than others, but obviously uh, still Hubbard with perfect 200 yards. Nice. Uh, as far as defensively goes, three sacks for Chase, one for Sweat. Oh, my. That guy went off. Hood and Fulton with picks. Mabin with a pick. Was that for six? Uh, Jamie Collins did have the, re the the fumble recovery touchdown for six. Of course, Matt Gay missed an extra point, but eh. The weather is wild. It's whipping and wild out there. I ain't going to blame him. Of course, we do have some upgrades. Let's, yeah, let's do them now. Screw it. Julian Kelly, can he get to scheme fit? He can't. He gets, is that an 81? I thought he was 79 just there. And he gets a speed upgrade. Really good upgrade there. Speed upgrade, catching plus two, short route one, catch traffic one, awareness one, and stiff arm one. Puts him now at 87 speed. Guys, slowly becoming one of the best tight ends in the league. It says rank 24, but I think there's a lot of teams that have guys that are above 24 that would say, yeah, you know what? You're right. He is. He's, you know, we'll take him. You know, he's, you know, 80, 24, only an 81 overall, but yeah, you know, whatever. 24th rank. Yeah, well, you can have our, our 15th rank guy. 
<laughs> you definitely want him. Uh, Gibson will give him an elusive back, even though we wanted to make him our receiving back. Hubbard's really just been the do-it-all guy, so Gibson, we want him to be a pure runner when he does get in. Already really good receiving stats anyways, or ratings. Uh, Troy Pride with an upgrade gets him slot, and that will give him nothing much, to be honest. Titus Campbell, once again, strong arm. Deep accuracy is really what we're going to be looking for the most, and we get ourselves one deep, one medium, kind of an iffy upgrade. And of course, if we win this game, we're on to the Super Bowl where we should definitely see a Titus Campbell superstar development, uh, superstar X Factor development trade, where we'll get a couple of more upgrades. So, big, big game against two really, really good rosters. This is going to be an insane one. It's going to be a fun one. Make sure you tune in. And of course, the best way to know when the video's up is to subscribe and hit that little bell thing. I guess it gives you notifications. I don't know how it how you do it, but. YouTube should have it automatically where you have notifications on and then you want to turn them off if you don't want them anymore. Why is it so hard? I don't know. <laughs> if you like the video, though, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Like I said, uh, also, maybe follow me on Twitter at Jerome P. Care. Second channel, P. Care Plays, where we upload literally anything but Madden. And then twitch.tv slash Jerome P. Care, where we record anything but Rams franchise. Literally, well, record, stream, play Superstar KO or Rocket League with you guys, whatever it may be. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, just like I did. Hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!